benefit spot reduction is the solution my beautiful people welcome to my channel fitness with doxy viewers uh, today i got a question on my channel by uh, major mohammad khalid saying that sir you have highlighted very useful and practical steps for weight loss thank you khalid uh, please guide on reduction of belly fat as well is gym training helpful for reduction of belly fats so i thought better to make a video clip on this topic because what i believe is belly fat is one of the most searched topic on the internet as well as most asked question uh, so let's talk about belly fat first of all whoever they are doing hundred and thousand of crunches and abdominal exercises on daily basis and thinking they are cutting down their belly fat guys please stop fooling yourself i don't want to sound mean here but here is the fact there is no concept of spot reduction in fitness and bodybuilding first of all you need to understand about your fat percentage in the body the fats they are distributed in your body from head to toe in men they have tendency for the central obesity means their fat accumulation will be more around their waist so if any men they have more than 37.1 inches of waist means they are more at risk of health hazard because of the high percentage of fats similarly in the female they have more tendency for the truncal obesity means their fat starting accumulating around their thighs area back and the shoulder and later they will start around the waist so 31.5 inches is related to the health hazard because of the high percentage content you can calculate your fat percentage through different methods i am leaving few links down in the comment box please go and check it out and for me the best method to calculate fat percentage is with this clipper if anyone can get hand on this thing use this one so guys if you want to reduce your belly fats you have to reduce your total body fat percentage as a whole for example if anyone is having 22 or 25% of body fats he has to reduce it as a whole number as i said there is no spot reduction so you cannot hit your belly fats with any mean so you can reduce 1% of body fats every month by eating clean by regular exercise guys it's a very slow process and you have to be consistent and show a little bit of patience here is a good news there are few evidence based methods which can target your belly fats let's discuss them number 1 don't eat sugar and sweetened drinks if you are going to take more refined sugar which are composed of fructose and glucose your liver will turn fructose into your belly fats number 2 cut your carbohydrates intake number 3 increase your protein intake on a daily basis which will help in reducing your belly fats number 4 eat food which are rich in fiber especially viscous fibers like vegetables and fruits number 5 count your calories and track your meal here is a fact again so many people they don't know what they are eating how much they are eating you have to limit your calories intake people think they are eating high protein or low carbs but trust me guys even they have no idea might be they are under eating or over eating so counting your calories and tracking your meals doesn't mean you have to do this thing for the rest of your life my advice is to do it in a few days in a row and then you will get a fair idea how much you are eating and what you are eating and then according to your set targets or goals you have to adjust your intake If you want to boost your protein intake as the evidence based studies shows you have to increase it by 25 to 30% in order to target your belly fats so by tracking your meals and counting your calories you can do a fine tuning and you can set the target and reach your goal number 6 on my list is supplement only one supplement you need here that is fish oil omega 3 it has amazing power to enhance the fat burning process of your body number 7 which is the key here exercise 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 regular exercise recommendation is 45 minutes at least 4 to 5 session every week will help you in burning your fats and if you want a better result or an enhanced result definitely you have to change your workout routine and go hard add cardio in your workout on a daily basis preferably it should be hit which is high intensity interval training 
Train all your major muscle groups which includes your thighs, your chest and back. For the abdominal muscle, don't train them on the daily basis. You can train them thrice per week. So, early morning cardio is very very effective, especially if it is done on empty stomach. And here, by cardio I mean training on the treadmill, uh, by brisk walk, elliptical, swimming, walking, anything. Anything which increasing your heart rate up to 120 beats per minute and if you are doing a HIIT training that is high intensity interval training it should increase your heart rate up to 150 beats per minute. And guys if you are doing only iron pumping I would advise you to add cardio on the daily basis. It should be 10 to 15 minutes after your workout. There is a new concept cardio acceleration. Guys, if you are already going to the gym for a while, your body has been well adopted to the workout and the cardio things, my advice is to try cardio acceleration exercises for maybe a few weeks or a couple of months. So conclusion, let me sum up everything here. Belly fat reduction is possible only if you are going to reduce your whole body fat percentage by eating clean and super added with your workout routine. For the workout, you your program should be balanced one means if you are doing only iron pumping now it's time to add up cardio in your workout and if you are doing only cardio you have to involve your major muscle groups with the cardio and if you guys are a gym worm then i guess it's time to go for a hit training or cardio acceleration belly fats are the most stubborn fats in your body especially your lower abdomen one it will take a while it's a slow process you need to consistent you have to put a little bit of extra effort here and the last message for today 70 percent of your body will be defined what you're going to eat in your kitchen and the 30 percent what you're going to do in the gym as a workout so mr khalid i, I guess i have answered your question and uh, still if you have any query please leave the comment down in the comment box so guys i will see you soon with a new video and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and if you like my content please leave a thumb button down there